and elections officials say there's still a long way to go. ABC 4's Jared Jetsonini is there live at the Salt Lake County Government Center with what we can expect. So Jared, what are you seeing there? Brian, this is where every ballot in Salt Lake County is cast, and this is really the intersection between technology and manpower. It's busy in here. This is a behind the scene look. This is actual people preparing these ballots for these large machines here that actually scan and count every ballot. Now, once they're done here, they're loaded back up into one of these machines, and then they're walked across the hall here to where they are officially tabulated. Now we spoke to one election worker here who is hard at work overnight, making sure every ballot is accounted for. A little bit more sleep would have been nice. This is Carson Adams. I run these uh, mail sorter machines. In many ways, I've, I've really lifted up. <laughs> Um, almost every ballot in this election. Second election working long hours at the Salt Lake County Clerk's Office. This election is different in a number of ways. One is obviously turnout. Yesterday we received about 57,000 ballots in the mail, and that's on top of what we uh, had before. Election officials say there are just over 142,000 ballots left to be processed and says it's taking longer than the 2016 general election. More voter turnout and an increased uh, active voter population here in Salt Lake County. Officials say once unofficial numbers are released, it could take up until November 17th, which is the end of the canvas period, to finish. Processing doesn't happen overnight, especially signature verification. It's a bit of a rush to run around the machine yourself. Although Adam says it's been a long road. Now it's a matter of, of sitting down and, and finishing the work. He's proud to be a part of processing the results for this historic election. There's a sense of accomplishment, of course. Again, Brian Cruz here hard at work. Now, Salt Lake County says that we could expect updated numbers for Salt Lake County around 3 p.m., which could impact the 4th Congressional District and the Salt Lake County mayor's race. But again, official numbers will be released on November 17th after that two-week canvas period. Reporting live, Jared Jatsanini, ABC4 News. Thank you, Jared. So interesting to see the vote processing in action.